Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Torah Devara. Need the Ches, the eighth attribute. Yichlosh Avisein Hakadosh Baruch Hu suppresses our sins, and he writes beautifully. B'zeh Ches and Gadol Shaisa Hakadosh Baruch Hu Matzadikim. This that Hakadosh Baruch Hu doesn't cancel out our mitzvahs when we do averes is a tremendous chesed from HaKadosh Baruch Hu to the tzaddik and to the righteous. She'enoi menake, Hashem does not wipe away, He doesn't subtract. Mimnei she'a mitzvah is chashuvah is ma'oid, mitzvahs are very important, they're very chashuv, they're very prominent. Umis Allah is ad lefana v'izbarach, and they go up before HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When a person does a mitzvah, it goes up, the, the angel that you create, the power of that mitzvah goes up to Hashem. How is it possible that HaKadosh Baruch could take that away? Because you didn't aver, because you sinned. The punishments of an avera, the results of a sin, it comes from Gehenim, from that very low, despicable place. However, but the mitzvah, the reward is from the nichva, it's very honorable, it's very chosh, very important. It's a very lofty place. Ziva Shechina, the reward for mitzvah is coming from the radiance of the Shechina. How could you have one cancel out the other? The power of a mitzvah is so great that the lowliness of an Aver can't even touch it. That's really what the Torah of is saying. We have this concept in our minds that if I do mitzvahs, it's fantastic. If I do an Avera, it's going to come and it's going to wipe away all the mitzvahs that I did. Says the Talmud Devarah, you can't say such a thing. Because mitzvahs wise, the reality is it doesn't work like that. The mitzvahs are so high up there and the Averas are so low down there, they don't even touch, they don't even come in contact with each other. How could you end up wiping one out with the other. Rather, what does HaKadosh Baruch Hu do? He will punish a person for their sins, and he will reward for all the mitzvahs. And says the Talmud of a very just simple and a beautiful idea that can give us a lot of hope. People often think that if I, even if I did mitzvahs, but I involved in the lowly world of Averis, it's coming and taking away all my schusim, all my merits. Says Talmud Devar, it's not true. It doesn't do that at all. Hashem will reward you for the mitzvahs. He will punish you for the Averis, but the punishment will be direct. Direct for the Avera itself. That Avera cannot climb the ladders of Kedusha and of Ruchnius and Holiness to even penetrate a little bit the world of mitzvahs and Kedusha that you have. So this is a big hope. For Klal Yisrael, it's a big hope for all of us. And that is that Mitz Hashem will spend a, a lifetime doing mitzvahs. And even when we make a mistake, we have to know, we have to believe that that mistake is not draining us of the reward that we have waiting for us in the world to come. Adar Rabbi, it's only focused in on its, pro- its own personal problem and difficulty of being in a way of being a sin. But the mitzvahs will live on eternally the mitzvahs will go to their place on high and reap the reward, and they will never be affected by the lowly levels of avera of sin that a Jew might just stumble into. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.